Hi, this is OJ Arzadon, the understudy, uh, and I'm here tonight to uh, show a quick review of the Transformers figure Henke Red Alert. Now, Henke Red Alert is packaged in a blister, uh, blister carded and has a quick uh, picture of the uh, figure, uh, cartoon in the front, coast cells at the back, as well as a uh, quick detail of the features of the toy. Now, as you can see with the design of the packaging of the toy, you can see uh, all around the figure, I have a clear view of it, as well as its uh, ex sole accessory, the blaster. So, uh, let's go ahead and open up this packaging, have a look at the inside. Oops, sorry about that. Now, uh, first of all, included in the package itself is a tech spec card of the figure, uh, seen here, taped to the back of the card. Uh, let's get that out as well. Let's see. There you go. Now the front uh, shows a picture of the toy in robot mode, while on the back also shows a picture of the uh, robot in vehicle mode. A quick description in Japanese, and on the bottom part, uh, it's specs. Fortunately, I can't read Japanese, so I can't give full details on that. Now. Uh, in the package that uh, was included at the bottom part of the card itself, uh, you can see there's the manual. Let's open that up. And so along with the manual, uh, you can see that there's also a catalog and comic book, uh, which is a typical feature in Japanese toys. So the catalog itself uh, shows uh, more of the figures in the Henkei line. The uh, back part is the comic book itself featuring our title character, uh, Red Alert, and another Autobot uh, smokescreen. And inside is another co-cell of the Transformers movie, and also uh, the black and white uh, comic book featuring the details, uh, featuring a quick story about those two characters and other characters in the universe, Transformers universe. So, let's get to our figure itself. Uh, let me just get rid of the uh, twist ties on this thing. Okay, I love those twist ties. Oh. Well, first of all, it's important to know that uh, Red Alert is actually a remold. Uh, this is the third version of the mold, first seen in uh, Sunstreaker, and then on uh, Sideswipe. Now, uh, some changes to the mold uh, include this uh, new uh, emergency lights at the very top part of the car itself. Now, uh, also, as uh, unique with uh, Henke figures, uh, you can see that the spoiler is set in chrome plastic. Ooh, look at that, shiny, shiny. As well as the weapon, too. It's cast in uh, two types of chrome. Uh, the back part is silver chrome, and the front is red chrome. Of course, uh, this would attach normally to the underside of the vehicle, as the tiny piece of equipment uh, shown here. Now, here's another odd thing about the side effect of chrome. Um, actually adds a very thick layer to the plastic, so you might have a few problems uh, fitting it right in some of those tinier slots, but it will fit. No, unfortunately not that well. Now, um, on the back of the car, there is the license plate where you can see um, it's either side swipe or some streaker from the uh, previous figures. In this case, it just shows the word alert, just like its Japanese name. Uh, the figure itself is mostly cast on white plastic. Uh, blue plastic is used for the uh, windows and the uh, windshield of the vehicle. So, uh, Another odd thing about this uh, particular figure is that this is actually the second time uh, the theme of the character was used in the Universe Generations Henke and, Gener and um, Universe 2.0 line in the classics. Uh, previously, uh, there was already another Red Alert type figure, uh, that w but was given a different name. In this case, the Transformers Universe Inferno. As you can see, uh, Henke Red Alert carries a lot of the features from uh, carried over from Inferno, such as the um, fire rescue uh, emblem, though a bit different in this case for uh, the figure for 
Inferno as compared to Red Alert, but still carries the fire rescue on the front of the vehicle. While Red, I mean Red Alert uh, carries Fire Chief instead. Now let's go ahead and turn this Red NK Red Alert into robot mode. First, we have to get rid of this. Uh, not exactly get rid. Let's uh, set it aside. The accessory. Open up the windows. Alright, so um, again, since this is just a repaint of uh, the Sideswipe mode, uh, transformation is exactly the same as the Sideswipe figure. Let's see, let's pull that out. Again, it um, carries the same technology used for the other two modes, which uh, you move one part and another part automatically pops up, kind of like the um, first Transformers movie Automorph technology, similar design, um, similar theme. Let's pull that out so you can finally see the head. As expected, the joints are quite stiff for a new figure. There we go, we're almost done. Just need to pop out those feet. It can be a bit tricky to pop out those feet because there's actually just a tiny tab that you might need a nail to pull out with. And we're done. Here's the robot mode of the figure. There you go. Now again, since this is a straight repaint, uh, I shouldn't see any difference uh, with mold-wise to the side swipe figure. Now uh, new colors come into this uh, figure. Uh, as you can see, the head is is painted red, actually with a nice uh, red color paint on it, not just the colored plastic. It is paint it is painted red. Uh, light blue plastic is used for the light piping of the figure. Let's see if we can show that effect. There you go. As you can see, it's very light plastic, so it's easy to do the light piping effect on it. And of course, uh, the gun is still the same, so it does have the flexibility of being placed either on the hand or on the shoulder. Let's put that on the shoulder. Again, uh, since this is chrome plastic, you do start to encounter issues as to the layer of chrome used which actually thickens the plastic so it might take a little effort to put it into the slot that it's supposed to go to on the arm on the hand or on the shoulder and if you do it often enough that'll tear the or that will break the chrome layer on that part of the plastic all right now the mold itself is actually quite good it, it is very possible. Um, it does carry a lot of joints in it and actually looks quite well since um, it does give it a big chested appearance. Uh, symbol um, gives an image of power for the figure. And uh, because of all those uh, points, I would give this figure around a uh, 4 out of 5. What really draws back from, uh, from it would be the chrome itself there would be a more appropriate place to use the chrome 
and um, as with uh, the US versions of the figure it is missing an additional accessory the engine block which is only found for the Henke versions on Sunstreaker not on this mode or nor on side swipe but again I give it a 4 out of 5 this is OJ Zidane and uh, thank you for uh, watching this review for today thank you